Pharmacology SAQ3 discuss the mechanisms responsible for the side effects of NSAIDs, 10 marks. Mechanism of action of NSAIDs. All eicosanoids with ring structures, prostanoids, are synthesized via the cyclooxygenase pathway. COX-1 and COX-2 are heme-containing enzymes that exist as homodimers attached to intracellular membranes. COX-1 is a constitutive enzyme present in most cells that plays important housekeeping roles to maintain tissue homeostasis. It is responsible for the physiologic production of prostanoids, which act as homeostatic regulators in processes such as gastric cytoprotection, vascular homeostasis, platelet aggregation, initiation of parturition, renal blood flow autoregulation. COX-2 is constitutively expressed in tissues such as the brain, kidneys, bones, uterus, and prostate. COX-2 is more or less undetectable elsewhere. Its expression at other sites is increased during states of inflammation via induction by inflammatory mediators such as TNF-alpha and IL-1. Thus, it causes elevated production of prostanoids that occurs in sites of chronic disease and inflammation. COX-2 is believed to be a more relevant target for anti-inflammatory drugs compared to COX-1. COX-3 is thought to mediate pyrexia, but fuller details have not yet been elucidated. Both COX-1 and COX-2 contain a hydrophobic channel where arachidonic acid and other fatty acids dock so that oxidation takes place. COX-1 and COX-2 enzymatically combine arachidonic substrates with oxygen to form unstable intermediates known as the cyclic endoperoxidases, which can subsequently be transformed by other enzymes to different prostanoids. Non-selective NSAIDs act mainly by reversible competitive inhibition at the arachidonic acid binding site of COX enzymes, except in the case of aspirin, which irreversibly acetylates hydroxyl groups on serine residues. Examples of non-specific COX inhibitors include diclofenac, ibuprofen, and ketorolac. The resulting decreased prostaglandin synthesis from COX inhibition causes both beneficial and unwanted effects. It is believed that NSAID inhibition of COX-2 causes NSAID's anti-inflammatory, analgesic and antipyretic actions, and inhibition of COX-1 results in NSAID's various adverse effects. Regarding COX-2 specific inhibitors, COX-2 has a larger potential binding site because of a secondary internal pocket. By exploiting the differences between the binding sites of COX-1 and COX-2, this has allowed the design of drugs to target predominantly COX-2. COX-2 is induced at sites of inflammation and trauma, producing prostaglandins, and COX-2-specific NSAIDs inhibits this process. Since COX-2 is an important constitutive enzyme in the CNS, including the spinal cord, COX-2 is inhibited at these sites as well. Examples of COX-2-specific inhibitors include celecosib, paracosib, and valdecosib. Mechanisms responsible for causing the adverse effects of COX inhibitors Gastrointestinal NSAIDs that inhibit gastric COX-1 reduces the beneficial levels of prostaglandins, resulting in increased gastric acid secretion, diminished mucus protection, and increased risk for GI bleeding and ulceration. Specific COX-2 inhibitors have less above-mentioned effects. Some NSAIDs such as aspirin can irritate the gastric mucosa directly. For the renal system, prostaglandin synthesis normally antagonizes intrarenal effects of vasoconstrictors. NSAIDs inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis leaves the actions of vasoconstrictors unopposed. By reducing the production of PGE2 and PGI2, the action of vasoconstrictors can cause hypertension, fluid retention, edema, compromised renal blood flow, irreversible analgesic nephropathy, and acute kidney injury. Respiratory adverse effects. NSAIDs inhibits prostaglandin E2 mediated bronchodilation by reducing PGE2. NSAIDs inhibit the synthesis of prostaglandins but not of leukotrienes, which are potent bronchospastic agents. Inhibition of prostaglandin synthesis causes a shift towards leukotriene production and therefore increases the risk of bronchospasms. Cardiovascular adverse effects. NSAIDs inhibition of vascular COX-1 and COX-2 results in inhibition of prostacycline production by COX enzymes, which is 
a vasodilator in vessels, and this causes hypertension and thus adverse cardiovascular events. NSAID's inhibition of renal COX-2 causes hypertension, as renal COX-2 at the macula densa regulates renin release and hence blood pressure, as renal COX-2 controls the methyl arginine system that suppresses the release of cardiotoxic asymmetrical dimethyl arginate ADMA by the constitutive nitric oxide synthase enzyme, inhibition of renal COX-2 results in increased ADMA and adverse cardiovascular events. NSAIDs with higher relative COX-2 selectivity have been associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events, possibly by decreasing prostacycline production, and inhibition of COX-2 in vessel endothelium increases the likelihood of thrombus formation and occlusion of blood vessels, and therefore myocardial infarction and stroke. Aspirin has a very high degree of COX-1 selectivity and thus may confer to aspirin's cardiovascular protective effect, thought to be due to a reduction in the production of thromboxane A2. In hemostasis, NSAIDs inhibit endothelial COX-1, reducing thromboxane A2 production, and this reduces platelet aggregation. And thus, non-specific NSAIDs causes bleeding time to be prolonged. However, COX-2-specific inhibitors have no such antiplatelet effects. Compromised bone healing. Theoretically, prostaglandin inhibition by NSAIDs may compromise bone healing following fracture, as the acute inflammatory response to bone trauma induces COX-2 in osteoblasts. Other adverse effects of NSAIDs include hypersensitivity reactions, Ray syndrome and salicylate toxicity.